Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. I just got done doing a whole bunch of micromanaging, which is what I think I'm going to try to do between each episode, so I don't have to spend so much time with the game paused and telling Cathro when you're done with that, get that one moved, then that one moved, then that one moved, and then that one moved. You know, that, that sort of a thing. So, doing that... Actually, the game has paused quite a bit, and I just carefully or strategically have each one do a whole list of things. And with that, I was able to get the last of this put together, and you know, real quickly, the iron, the steel brought over and, and assembled. And we got ourselves a working greenhouse. Um, need to get all of the wood brought over for the furnishings and whatnot, but I did lay out chairs and plants and and a wedding spot and a party spot over here. Um, got to get the horseshoe pin out that used to be outside right there um, got furniture moved back into this bedroom and that wall finished though we do need to no that's all good yeah pathways are in I think Tomislav is on his way to building this vent and then this bedroom's done so still not arranged the way I would like it but it accomplished the goal for now um, I see some conduit exposed that I normally would have run through the walls but that's just going to be have to be fine there. What else got done? Um, I was able to keep Justin over here. And we got quite a bit of uh, iron or steel mined out. So that helped out a lot. A little bit of it brought over here just to give us a, a surplus. I got Handy over here and, and Sangria. And, and very pointedly said, no, you take that block out right there. And that door. And I got the gauntlet system pathway completed so we've got a long maze of a gauntlet up and running now with the ability to move through it in almost any direction ourselves if we need to so once we get all of the limestone chunks moved into here and the reason i chose limestone is marble has a beauty factor right that's not it where is lime there was some marble right there does it show in the raw material does not so the chunk itself is a negative eight, but something made from it was quite a bit. I don't know how much of this statue was the positive 64 beauty was marble versus what was the normal quality, but we got a positive 68 out of that. Whereas wood, I would imagine it'd be far less. Anyway, so marble has a use that will probably go into things we're going to sell or things we're going to use to uh, beautify our, our colony. And the granite has a strength that I would want to use for walls. So we've got three types of stone on this map. We've got the marble, we've got the granite, and it's kind of a brown tone, right? Where am I looking? Or gray, this is right there that one a brownish gray versus a what a bluish gray we've got the limestone so I'm sure we'll be getting into limestone in here somewhere that's well, that's limestone right there so it does travel in veins throughout this is all marble over here and granite but I'm sure we'll be mining more of that so if I put the limestone in here I know I'm not gonna have you know call for it I have them say oh I know where some is it's right past those three traps over there where we're storing it because you know, this is just a storage place. So I wanted to use something that we're not going to call for. So that's that's the reasoning behind that. Otherwise, um, so I've got the gauntlet done enough. I've got the wedding chapel, temporary wedding chapel, mostly in the works and planned out. Um, wild boars, last time animals, I had without thinking to set everything to green. I really don't want them set for release. If we had a pet grizzly or a pet, uh, oh, you know, something that's a little more of a tank, sure, send them in there and let them attack. You know, pet cobras or pet cougars or things, you know, predators, that sort of thing. But these guys have a have a, a use. They're, they're going to haul. And you get a fleet of these guys out there hauling away, I really hate to dispose of them by sending them all in there to uh, to uh, to attack some enemies and end up with no haulers in the end. So I'm gonna pull back on that plan. Um, I did check the boomalopes while wow, they moved. Okay, went through the ones that we are taming are the young ones. Somebody early on, I'm trying to remember if that was Lady Shell or if it was Carrie or just whom, but someone mentioned. Check the ages on the boomalopes. You don't want an old one that's going to die of old age. Like this one, 
Eight years old. I have no idea what old age is. Uh, oh, consuming brambles answered a question from last episode. So they do eat the brambles just like they eat the grass or the berries. Okay, so brambles are edible to animals. Does it say that? Does it say can eat just live plants? Okay, that's that answer. Anyway, so we've got a three-year-old, a, a three-year-old, and a two-year-old that we're actually going to try to uh, recruit, and that is a male, female, and male. Okay, and we've got two males and two female wild boars, too. That was a question brought up in the comments a couple episodes back. All right, is that all of my homework? Let's see who's doing what right now before I release them in case I need to point them specifically to somewhere because um, I'm still trying to get just as much done as I possibly can before we uh, you know, before something happens you know? and while we still have, have this this disease that makes them so fast so take advantage of it anyways Tomislav is working on bringing steel over to here and he's bringing 75 this only needs eight so this truly is his path. Will it tell me that? His path is not going to line it up for me. I don't know what the other bunch is going to. We have that there. This is all done. There's no metal in here that I can remember. We do have a vent over here that's needing it. We have a, a heater over here that's needing it. But I don't think he would have gotten the command to go over there and drop all that off there too. So I'm curious to see what he's going to do while I bring in all 75. Because he came over to here, from here to get it, I think. Ah, you let it run for a while and you get your question answered. No, it, still not answered. Hmm, there's one right there. I don't think there's any metal in here other than a light. Huh. Oh well, we'll find out. Um, Handy sleeping, rabbit sleeping, Shantigo is going to cook a fine meal i he was getting quite depressed and we were getting some food ready to rot over here so i quickly had everyone come over here and eat something to get our number down below the threshold so that it would trigger him to go cook again because he's real happy cooking and he's got a superior dining chair so that gives him comfort and he's got a statue which gives him beauty so this is his happy space right here and that's good for someone who's a little bit of depressed uh characteristics naturally uh klaus is sleeping sangria is i gave her the job of bringing over all the pot the plant pots to this area she's dropping these off so that we can uh, try to, to get this ready i have no idea when this wedding's going to happen if it's even going to happen you know this this year for them it's it's random i'm going to make the guess that it has something to do with handy social when they're both 100% both both ways of each other. So when we see 100 and 100, I, I'm gonna make the guess the game's gonna trigger. Or at least that's the starting point for a roll of the dice trigger, I, I don't know. So I'll have to wait and see how that works and see if it truly is 100-100 when that happens. Um, Sangria, Cathra, I'm gonna send her out to get a little more steel before bedtime. Um, Natalia is researching and she, so we've, we've finished off our need for clothing right here. So she's able to go back to researching and she's been researching the drug production, which then heads over to medicine, which is next. And Thomas, I pointed out that the hospital bed is right there. That's what I couldn't see. And then I was trying to remember that other thing. It was called the vitals monitor. It's right over here, but we have to get the multi-analyzer to work before we can do that. So that's another 800 research. Then we get the vitals monitor, which will add a, a quality boost to the hospital bed. So there's a whole bunch of great stuff over here, but that's, of course, I've got the multi, the microelectronic basic, uh, no, which one gives you the high-tech workbench? Electricity, I'm trying to remember how that came into, into this, because I've already got it, and I don't believe you would normally start with it. Production, uh, already had you up, um, right there, high-tech workbench. So I'm pretty sure that I see, and you can build that with silver, gold, or steel. So any metal. Okay. When I started the game, I asked for the game to give me turrets. I wanted to have that already researched, as if they came in with that already, you know, with the knowledge of how to do that already, not knowing if we were going to desperately need them right at the be beginning or not. It turns out we didn't. But in doing so, not without realizing 
it gave me everything pre preceding it. I figured it was just going to give me gun turrets and everything else we avoid over here, and we'd still have to, in order to make the rest of these, go back and, and get the basic requirements. But it gave me everything upstream. Machining, microelectric, electronic basics, gunsmithing, blowback operation. I still have no idea what that is. Uh, craft simple, semi-automatic. Oh, okay. So the ability to craft semi-automatic and automatic guns like the auto pistols, machine pistols, and heavy SMGs. So there must be a gunsmithing bench? That's new to me if there is. Production. I keep clicking that. It's already down here. Um, machining table. Okay, I know that one. That must be where it comes from. Okay. So we got a little boost in our research, but we haven't really taken advantage of any of that yet. Anyway, um, that to say I'm done with Natalia. Okay, Michael is stone cutting like a madman. Yep. And then Justin is hauling, let's see, eating a fine meal. Must be down over here with Cathra. The two, the two abrasives are sitting next to each other. What could possibly go wrong? And you're cued to haul in a raccoon leather... Oh, cleaning up the, uh, the the butcher's table. Yeah. There was one incident that happened uh, while I was trying to get all this little stuff done that a raccoon went, went rabid and ran over here and rabbit just pop pop and killed it. So it wasn't exciting enough to have stopped to record it. So I just let that one go. Which is probably counts as, as the event for the moment. You know, maybe... The, little while before it gets exciting again but that's fine excitement is fun but so is getting something accomplished and that's what i wanted to do but with justin before oh about maybe two episodes ago i mentioned i might peek into the uh, uh the save file and see what it takes to turn those three prisoners into mail so we can get some mail uh subscribers into the list because so far by roll of what looks like a or sounds like a, a loaded dice it's all been females that have been added to the game michael's the only exception so far so i wanted to get some of the guys on my my subscriber list into the game and i, I got into the save file and that's quite a complicated uh, um file there <laughs> I've got a a uh, a story that I wrote before I began this YouTube channel based on the game of Minecraft, and it's double spaced, almost 300 pages long, and it's a file that is 400 kilobytes long. So and it's something that I've gone through, re-edited, and I've got now up on my uh, Patreon page for all my patrons to go through and read, and it's 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 actually quite a pretty good story, but. Um, the save file for this game is 10 megabytes and it's a rws file which i think stands for rimworld save so i converted it to a text file just changed the rws to a txt and after going through all the warnings that it gives you when you do that i brought it up on a text editor and and a lot of it turned into something that you could actually read so i was able to hit control f and type in say justin and it came up with Justin's description and, and gender equals female. So I took off the FE, gen, gender equals male. And about 10 lines down, there was another one. So I did that again. And then I hit control F again. It popped up and it was still female. I thought, that's weird. So I did those two again. And by the third round, I realized there are many, many layers of the exact same information over and over and over again in the save file. And I got to realizing that I could very easily mess that thing up by not hitting every single layer of that same information being repeated before suddenly you have a conflict. And it's, there's, it would take hours to go through and study the architecture of the save file to really grasp why there are so many layers and what each layer is for. So I gave up on that process. It's not worth losing the series over it even though it may work to start up the game again, it may be an error that doesn't show up for four or five episodes before we hit that part of the code. So I decided that's it's best not to. So what we get, we get. But Justin, right here, is going to get a new identity today. Justin is now Miss P. Uh, like that, like that. And she's someone that I've seen often on Night Ghost and Vapa's um, streams 
on on Twitch, and uh, got to got to know her there. And we were watching Night Ghosts RimWorld series, and I mentioned to her to pop over and take a look at this one if she wants to learn how to play it, because we're kind of running this like a tutorial. So we now have a Missa P, and Missa P is yeah we haven't truly gone through this have we so Missa P is a cave world tunneler worked as a digger in a massive underground cave complex she knows rock so so well that she can almost navigate caves by smell <laughs> so shooting negative two construction plus one and mining plus six but as a result Smithing is disabled, tailoring is disabled, crafting is disabled, researching is disabled, and running the drug lab was disabled. Then as an adult, she was an escaped convict. She denies involvement in the crimes that brought, that brought about her incarceration in a brutal penal colony. She escaped by tunneling beneath the perimeter using modified cutlery and her amazing digging skills. So mining plus four and crafting plus two, but now doctoring is disabled. So, incapable of all those things we mentioned, she's a night owl, so likes to be up during the night and sleeps during the day. She gets a mood bonus if awake at night. Oh, it gives you a time now. Well, that's nice. From 2300 to six o'clock, and mood loss if awake during the day from 1100 to 18. Yeah, and abrasive, like Cathra, always says exactly what's on her mind, especially if it's a bug in her. That tends to rub people the wrong way. So, she needs to be sleeping from 11 to 18, or she gets a negative if she's out of bed from 11 to 18. Okay, well, let's take a peek at that. I was going from 6 to, to 12, so you're actually saying... Um... Where are you? Miss a P right there. And so you're actually saying we want to be from 11 to 18. I get that right? Let's pop back into here. And character and Night Owl from 11 to 18. Hmm. Okay, I was just making a guess. So now I don't have to guess. And if you're up between 23 and 6, which you would be then anyway. So, 23 to 6. Okay. So, in that case, let's rework a few things. Let's run the joy down like so. And let's do the same thing. Is there a reason not to do the same thing with uh, Natalia? Keep them both up at the same time. Neither of them have the disease. So they don't have the second one. So we can do this, get a joy a little closer to mourning for those that are in trouble. Actually, for everybody. And then for those that are in trouble with the disease, they'll get an extra bonus before they go to bed. So they're not spending eight hours right on the verge of breaking the whole time. They'll get a little bonus before they go to sleep. Okay, is there anything wrong with that? So that puts... What I, one thing I really do want is they're sharing rooms. So it'd be really nice to make sure that, for instance, Miss P is sleeping at a time when... Who's her roommate? Was it Cathra? I think Cathra is, is up. And so they're not entering each other's room while they're sleeping and disturbing each other. Same thing with Natalia and Handy. Though Handy will be moving to Tomislav's room one of these days... I'm guessing that's the route we'll go. We'll drop a full-size bed right there. That might be the way to do it. Or, or maybe this room right here will become that. And we'll just start over here. Ah, we'll see. The the doctoring's over here. The medicine. Temporary uh, hospital's there. So that's probably the, the best route to go. But, okay. That that was enlightening. I didn't... I not read that. This, this beta. Okay. So let's get this going. And... Curious first thing, what Tomislav's going to do. Why did you bring 75 to something that needed 8? Oh, the orbital beacon. And so or or orbital beacon was 50. And that was... And you didn't have enough to finish that one. Interesting. Otherwise, you went where? You went right to bed. <laughs> I worked them hard. They were all on the point of exhaustion. So, how are moods real quick? Um, needs, let's just kind of scroll through here. Is anybody in serious trouble? 
Shantigo is a little low, but he's building right now. He's... You know, no, he's he's maxed out. Well, no, the beauty just popped up a, a notch there. Handy... What was that? Shantigo. Social. Attempted to woo Handy into romance, and Handy rejected the advance. So... Oh. Shantigo is a rival to Cathra? Hmm. Does it tell me what that's all about? Uh, opinion of Cathra is negative 27. And... Slided two times and salted. Um... Hmm. That's interesting. So, don't know what created that, other than, you know, half these people were the other half's enemies at one time, so you got to keep that in mind. We're seeing, you know, friends or comrades right now, but that wasn't their origination. So, six of these were captured enemies and prisoners for a while. So, yeah, I guess that's quite possible when you build all that up. Anyway, um, Shantigo, though he was doing good, he's going to go into a, a, a dirty place, storeroom with all kinds of negatives, and that's going to take away a lot of his his benefit. Maybe what I need to do, you got rid of the meat that was rotting. That was what I was really hoping for. Let's get you to haul that just to get it out of the meat slot right there. Well, let let you drop into there. Now, let's bring... A slab of meat in. Here's a bunch of pork. Put that away so you're ready for next time. And then after that, hold the shift and haul the corn and restock that one. Now you'll be able to put out another 10 meals, or another 15 meals fast and easy. All right, so that's done. Um, a lot of folks are going to be going to bed. Uh, Kathra, I sent you up to get more steel. You're bringing that in. Thank you. Uh, carrying steel, hauling. To stockpile too. Odd how it uses it kind of explains it twice there. It's confusing at times. Game just stalled for a second. What was that all about? Making another statue out of marble. Okay, go for it. Now Natalia is still researching. Michael is still block cutting. He'll be thankful to get off that duty soon. Now I've also got to figure out just how long that needs to go. What else can we do with Michael? Mining is what I need to be doing. And Justin, miss a P. I gotta, well, I gotta get rid of, uh, gotta get my mine uh, converted over there. She's been Justin for two episodes. So, miss a P is the miner who's sound asleep. Okay. So, Michael, let's look at Michael. Long term. Been using him for crafting because he's got some passion. He's building up his skill. Not tremendously. He's only at a three yet, but, uh, you know, not much you can do wrong with crafting a fine block. Um, art's what he wants to, to do long term, which is really more of what's going to happen when we get into the base and get our big production area built. Then we'll have two or three production tables of each different kind. Michael has said, I'm done with blocks. <laughs> so, major break risk. That means... I click on it? I can't. These colonists are in a very poor mood and may have a major mental break at any any time. Um, click, check the colonists. Yeah, let's just go over there. Michael, wow. Let's try that again. Needs. So you got a whole stack of negatives here. Very tired. Because I, what, assigned you? And Yeah, clear work. Okay, that was that issue again. Where it just shut down everything. Okay. Um, put you to sleep. And you are actually doing what right now? You're resting. Yeah, rearrange yourself. You're going over there and rest. Okay. Do I get you a meal first? Or do I just let you rest? Wish I knew which one gave the most benefit. Food 32%. 0.32 divided by 1. 12% rest is how much sleep. A creature has gotten recently so very tired is a negative 12 versus hunger uh, feeling terrible hunger is not even playing into this yet so let's get rid of the negative 12 okay so you go do that um, so long term what do we do with Michael if we get him into mining that's also a very negative he's just gone to a minor right yeah I went from major to minor but why he hasn't crossed that line yet. Does it need to be updated if I click on him again? Uh, needs? No. 
Hmm, wonder what changed. Why did it go from major to minor, but it's still that side of that line? Was this projected to be beyond, and now it went back to here? I don't know, but this green over here is going to keep heading up, and it's going to keep kicking this this little indicator further and further over. So he'll be fine. Um, but back to this, we make him a minor now. This is a very ugly area, which is just going to compound. I mean, look at all those negative twenty sixes. Going to compound a lot of the issues with this disease. So almost need him in here, in here, with this wonderful Cathra statue. He doesn't sew though, right? I couldn't just give him the job of a whole bunch of toques just to keep him in there. Um, Michael, art. He does have the ability to, and a little bit of passion. Well, that's kind of an interesting idea. Um, I have to turn everybody else off so he'd be the only one doing it. Hmm. And I'd have to tell him specifically he's not going to use that synth thread or anything else to get some skill built up. But that would be one way to deal with that. Um, what other options do we have? Smithing and tailoring. Wow. Klaus is fast. All right, you go bug Zoya. Um, lost you. Mining. You get a joy out of mining. Okay. He gets passion out of almost everything. Gets passion out of cooking, but he's only a two, so we're not going there. Hunting. Now that's a possibility. Get him outside in the in the wild, out there in the beauty of nature, which in this game isn't very beautiful, but it's not very ugly either, so it's kind of neutral. We could do that, take that down a notch, and he'll get a joy out of it. If we can have him hunt something that doesn't involve, you know, biting him back, he can actually have some, have a little bit of fun with it. So, Michael, you have a auto pistol, which will give you a skill up really quick, and it drives me nuts when this thing's on my cursor. Um, do that. Yeah, we'll do that for a while. Now, who else will jump into that job if I assign a bunch of hunting? So, Michael, otherwise, Rabbit could. I'll take him down one notch, though he's... Yeah, he could. There's not a lot of growing left to do right now, so that would be his next one. Um, Klaus, once the cooking's done, which I'm surprised he hasn't been doing any of. This butcher table's been reset so anybody could do it. But he's been skipping all that and going right to hauling. We still have animals to butcher in here. Hmm. Um, let's turn Klaus down to a three as well on that one. Just give this to Michael for a while. Okay, so Michael, you're going to go hunt what? I'd like for you not to miss and hit a boomalope. So let's stay on this side of the mountain. So up in here, um, thinking all of the squirrels and all the rabbits, all the turtles, the turtles will give them lots of, of practice. Can I find just one turtle that I can click on? What are you? You're nothing. As we get colder, we're going to see less and less animals out here. Hmm. Look for the Z's. We have rats. We have three rats. Four rats. Where's number four? One, two, three. One, two, three. There's four. Nope, that's that's a steam vent. One, two, three. Oh, over there. Okay. In that case, let's move that out of the screen. And then double click again. And that came up. <laughs> At the exact time that I that I clicked it. Okay, so research is done, and we need to pick a new research project. So we'll try to remember to do that later. But I'm double clicking right now. Leave me alone. Hunt. All right. Now, any other Z's while I got the opportunity before they all wake up over here? Now, are we just down to three rats on our map? Besides the the deer herd? Kind of. Oh, the Z's have woke up. Okay, we have raccoons, and we have a turkey over there. So let's pull out a little bit and double click. We have two raccoons. One over there. Okay, let's just grab the one then and hunt you, and then turkeys. So you pull out a little bit like that. Double click. We got one, two, one, two. All right, there's what six or so animals to hunt. That'll get him outside and get him out of out of the 
dirt and clutter and ugliness of that block cutting area for a while. All right, so Natalia no longer has research, so she's going to go cut blocks for a while. And she's grabbing the ones that are just sitting out over here. Hmm. Can you construct? You can. How about I trick you into hauling a bunch of wood? Yeah. Of course, you're only going to go after the one. And I can't tell you to go to that one because you don't haul. So that's not going to be as fruitful as I'd hoped. Tomasov's still up. Well, you're already done with your sleep and you're up and running again. So is Handy and so is Sangria. So all those that were sleeping when we started. Okay, so Handy is going to haul wood to chair to this whole area. Okay. And Miss P, you are consuming a meal. Then you're going to go hunting. And Shantigo is cooking. Everyone's just happy as can be. Getting our orbital trade beacon in. And it goes to connected. So now when we get someone that wants to trade with us, they can grab anything within this zone. I'm pretty sure it will give us the full circle, even though it's only showing what's within the walls. So all the weapons that are sitting in these racks, which I had moved this rack to get it out of here. I see it now needs to go back here. So let's shift this one over. You are a, let's see, reinstall you to there. And I can't do anything until that's done. So who can I bug? Catherine is eating, Shantiko is cooking, and you guys have all taken off. Great. Miss P is going to work on that silver. After I convince her to work on that iron, right, steel right there. Okay, it's snowing. It's snowing right there. Mm hmm. So we are gentle snow, the 14th of September. Gonna be getting cold soon. Which means I need to get back to the previous talk of getting some more heaters into this place. Now I also need to make sure that our venting is correct, and it's not. We have a heat source here, but it dies at this wall. But we've got our airlock in here now. We do. Um, first of all, there's no heat source in this area, except for the cooler, which is dumping its heat into this room. But let's put a heater there. And let's open this door and lock it open. We've, the, when we only had the one door here, when they'd open it up, this whole area would go cold, and we wouldn't want to lock that open, or this whole area would go cold, which would send a burst of cold into every room that's got a vent. But in this case, we've got a, you know, the airlock now, so we can hold that one open, and it should be fine. And that way, this heater and this heater can all share this common space that dies with this door, though I've got that locked open too. And this one is held open? It is. So all of these without vents are being held open, but we've got heat transferring into these. It's complicated, but it would work. And we've now got enough steel to pull this off. So, Tomislav is concentrating on getting, and Handy, <laughs> getting their wedding chapel built, and they want that done. Handy, you're doing what right now? You're consuming a fine meal, needs... Let's... Yeah, I'll let you. Tomislav, how about we just get wood hauled? Can you, uh, well, you're just going to do the four. Yeah, let's do uh, even more right there. And Natalia's bringing in the 13, and you don't need to build it. I just needed you to haul it. Um, let's get back to research. So we just got done with... It's here somewhere. Oh, I have to scroll. It's over there. We're going to fire off this one next. All right. So we need the high-tech research bench in place. Okay. Locked. All right. So the high-tech research bench. Production. That is this guy. And he's big. Hmm. There goes that plan. Um, Michael, you want to you share your, your space? Where are we going to put this thing? Natalia's bedroom. Hmm. Yeah. Obviously, I didn't plan for that one very well. I guess we're expanding a bedroom or a research room. Hmm. Okay, well, mine, this one, 
to something like that. Take that out. Move the horseshoe pin one more time. Reinstall um, there. <laughs> and this all becomes room with a door right there. So actually, let's mine out this part. And we'll make this wooden wall around the perimeter door right there and wooden floors. Yeah. Okay. So, Natalia, actually, you know, I was going to just clear that, let you do whatever you wanted to. You want to haul, you want to work on stone blocks, and if your beauty drops, that would be fine. So, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, Miss P, how you doing? Oh, you going back, you went back. Oh, Michael. That's who I'm thinking of. Michael's one who's going to do the hunting. I got these two mixed up. They're the two recent ones. Michael's sound asleep. Okay. So, Mr. P, you're actually doing what you want to be doing. And that gives you a huge bonus. So, needs... Yeah, your joy is going up quite quickly because you enjoy the mining a lot. Mining double passion. So, that's good. Major break is Michael, who just got up from bed and realized, I'm starving! So, he's, he's off to take care of that. And we got there too late. He's on a food binge. What does this mean? Michael is pigging out on food. The final straw was depressive. Meaning, jump to location, character. He's depressive, so he's perennially unhappy. He has trouble sustaining a good mood even when everything is fine. Permanent mood effect, negative 12. Of all of the things he, that could go wrong, going on a food binge is probably one of the best ones. He just eat and eat and eat. Unless that's going to make him barf all over the place. I don't know what the long-term effect of that is. Now, if we were having a food crisis right now, that'd be a problem. Because he would just eat meal after meal after meal. But the good meal is going to give him a... What are we doing now? We're wandering. So he's, he's not going to accomplish much while he's doing this. But it's going to give him a plus five, right? Um, eight a fine meal, five. So every time he does that, we get to the five and just keep kicking this thing up. Already, his forecast is to be well above the uh, mental break problem. So that particular mental breakdown actually helped him. As long as he doesn't, uh, you know, sometimes they'll just go wandering and, and they'll just start taking off their clothes and eventually they're walking around naked in the trees. You know, they just they just completely lost it. Out in the snow, that could be a problem. He eventually drop with hypothermia. We have to go rescue him, drop him in a hospital bed, and then he, he kind of goes back to normal. Look at Klaus fly through there. Wow. Now, Handy was already a jogger. I haven't really noticed how fast she runs this place. Where is she at right now? <clears throat> she's over here, but she's slow in the water. Let's see what happens when she hits dry land. Otherwise, hey, the chapel's coming together. Can't wait for the lights to come in. Yep, she's just flying through there. All right, so you are specifically working on just dropping off wood, and now you're going to go relax socially because we hit 10 o'clock. So 10 o'clock is the new 1400, right? Restrict? Yeah, so 10 in the morning, everybody's going to want a break. Do you need it? So I'd love to have you build that light. Uh, needs your joy is actually really good and your mood is really good too because you've got the psychic soothe going on all the ladies are really happy right now so handy I'm taking away your break why don't you come over here and build me a light right there that would be great I'd love to see some some light over there got a light queued up to be built there I need you to build the heater too that's right so we've got got quite a bit of steel not enough to do both of those but enough to get started Miss P, you are relaxing socially. So handy, drop. Well, you, you build it as fast as I can assign it. So, boom, done. So handy, why don't you do this one next? Cannot skill levels. That's Miss P. Handy, your skill level is not too low to build a heater. Okay, great, you take care of that. All right. So lighting in there. I also put a light in the hallway here. So I'm surprised that didn't get materials brought to it. But there must be a uh, rabbit. You just woke up Natalia. Don't do that. Um, must be a, a priority system as to what projects in the same space get done first. Growth. What do we have? We have heat. We have 69 degrees. We've got heel root growing at 140% of normal. The sunlight really gives a, a boost to their growth. So hay grass. 124% of normal. Now does that 
diminish as it goes away, it does not. As long as it's within that, that sphere. So three away was out of it. So there's growth rate zero. So really, these three are all zeros. Not just, you know, 15% or a slower rate. It really takes it down to nothing. Well, that feels a little off. Really? Hmm. So we only get that area right there, which I see it does show you the perimeter once it's built. Okay. So this is dead to us then. Wow. No, it's not going to hurt to have stuff there, but you see why I wanted to have any other things within, you know, the very corner so that it wouldn't interfere with this area here. But, okay, so we're, we're going to get, what is there, 5, 10, 15, 25, 50, 55 heal roots. So herbal medicines are going to come out of this when it's done. And it was a growth time of... 6.5 days. So it's growing at 140% of. So does that shorten or is that the result of 140%? Hmm. Either way, we're going to have more herbals here real soon. What do we have in stock? Right there, 40. Okay. So we're going to use 18 to, you know, say 20 by the time that grows. So barring no major emergencies, we should be okay. Which I'm assuming we're going to get something here real soon. As soon as we get... Actually, I could set a trap on both ends of this one right now. On both ends of that. I could do that. I don't... Unless they're going to walk through here to go drop that off. I would hope not, but let's not risk that one. But let's go ahead and set a trap. Um, security... Deadfall trap. We can make them out of all of these things. We're going to go with only wood right now. So that's as far as I'm willing to go at the moment. So build those two. And we've got some some wild boar loving going on in here. We're going to have piglets soon. Okay. Where are we? Are we already 40 minutes into this? Wow. Look over my timer and I'm shocked every time. Feels like we don't get anything done. We're getting something done though. I just hope it's fast enough. Handy. You're going to bed. Okay, Tomislav, you're already asleep. Hmm. Okay. Who can I get to haul? You're going to bed. Um, to haul wood and just fill in the rest of these blanks. Digging at granite. Rabbit is. Where are you at, rabbit? Over here. Oh, you're... Actually, I would really like to see that done. I hadn't thought about that. Miss Pete, where are you? You are resting, and you have to... A, a, a uh, deep talk with, with Klaus, right? Right there. Deep talk with Klaus. Yeah, those two... It looks really weird. It's two eyeballs staring at each other like they're having a staring competition, but really it has something to do with... Michael's still out of it. It's something to do with having a good talk. Michael is green right now. He's just... Uh, as I say, he's wandering. Um, doesn't give a warning anymore about him, but his needs should be... Our mood should be in pretty good shape. It is. He's pro he may go till he exhausts himself. Has he had more than one fine meal? Still just showing that one. I guess, but his food is, is really full right now, so... Hmm. Maybe what that does is, you know, normally they don't eat until they get down to that line. Maybe they eat at a much sooner point and just keep topping off each time. I've never really dealt with that particular uh, breakdown before, but uh, I've seen far worse breakdowns. You know, a pyromaniac will break down and start setting fires to everything in the camp and... It gets, it gets exciting visitors. Well, we're getting lots of events, but they're they're happy events right now. Group of the Rana of the River are visiting the colony. They seem to have a few items to trade. Okay, we'll let you guys wander down here. I would say we want to do it before 2200, before they go to sleep, but that doesn't mean anything anymore. Klaus, you needs... You're going to be up for... Oh, actually, you're right there. You are going to go to sleep soon. Okay, Michael is, is consuming a fine meal, and he is running in there to get it. So, your needs... Yeah, you're just gonna... Hmm. Now, I'm wondering if... Get a fine meal, if we're gonna get a, a stacked bonus. Curious to see that. Gotta wait for him to finish, though. Zoom in a little bit. That yellow bar right down there. Klaus is bringing that stuff in. Great. He's on hauling mode. So, he's just... Hauling all stuff in, although I think we're running out of room for this stuff. Uh, fine meal five, did not stack. Darn. Okay, 
Minor break risk. Rabbit is not liking this ugly place. And he's uncomfortable. And there's all kinds of reasons why he doesn't want to be here. Um, yeah, you're actually getting a little bit rough there. If I were to draft and undraft, will you go to rest? You will. That'll clean that up. Okay. I need a Mississippi. You are right there, and your needs, your rest is almost there. You don't have this disease. Health. Right. So, worst I can get out of you is a negative three for being disturbed. So, Mr. Pete, why don't you finish this job for me? And you can sleep tomorrow. Very good. Uh, how's your food, though? Needs. Your f food is actually tanked. Let's instead have you come consume a fine meal. And after that... Uh, shift and assign you to do that one. All right, that'll get that done. Meanwhile, let's quickly structure, uh, quickly meaning before Klaus goes to sleep. I missed Klaus. Darn. Okay, well, we're going to do that, and we're going to get a door in here. And I hate to bother Klaus. I guess we're going to run until he wakes up. And by then, these guys that are just ambling on in here. There we go. Pelican has something he wants to trade with us. So we'll see what that's all about. The, boy, these wild boars, they are just they're just going at it. There's little red hearts popping up all over the place. We're going to have so many piggies. We get too many piggies, we're going to have bacon. Miss Pete, there you are. So you're going to work on this. Michael is no longer picking out on food. Now he's asleep. So it lasts until he falls asleep. So he tires himself out. All right, so he's going to start tomorrow with a good mood, and he'll be fine. Then he'll go off and do that hunting. So the plan would have worked had he made it to that meal. He got that one meal, it would have brought that one bar up, and he would have gone hunting, and it would have been fine. Okay, Miss P is going to get that last one, and then we're going to try to convince her to go to here. Yeah, we're going to try. And it's getting dark in here. But I see, well, all I can really see is that the ones that are already queued up, though so this one needs to be mined, and that one needs to be mined. Okay. The rest of these are all just the planning marks. I was only going to mine this stretch right here enough to get one row of bedrooms in. But we got further into there than I had thought. But Miss P is probably not going to make it the whole way. But if I tell her to do the next one over, that will reset her timer and her distance. Go just a little bit further, do that one more time. Then I won't feel like I need to babysit this anymore. You should be fine now. This has been laid out. Let's put wall in there. Once that's built, let's see. Whoa! Dry thunderstorm. Snow stopped. Just like that. Let's quickly put in some floor, then I'll move away from this area. So wood floors through here, like that. And the light is over there. Let's have the light moved. Uh, designate, no, reinstall right here. Eh, that looks centered to the what will be the, the final room. Sienna's down here. What's she doing? She's hauling potatoes to stockpile zone 10. Potatoes. Oh, is there still... No. The stockpile doesn't have anything in there. What is she doing? Oh, this must be stockpile 10. She's filling that up. Nice. Except now we don't need to do any more cooking, huh? 44, but it will... Okay, can we... We can. Yeah. 53 of 60 on the hit points of the potatoes. When she drops this off, it went to 55 of 60. I didn't get to see what she was carrying, but it was an average between the two. So that did up the the quality and it spoils in one one quadrum. Psychic Soothe is ending. So no longer have that free bonus. Ooh. We got a lightning strike. And here's these guys. Klaus, you are still sleeping. Where's our lightning strike? Wow. Fired right in there into Sangria's room. Didn't even wake her up. Hmm. It's a dry thunderstorm. We got to put this out. We actually have a, a real fire here. Uh, Natalia making kibble. Do you do fire? Um. Firefight. Everybody does fire. Natalia, reset you. And you are beating out the fire. You can probably handle that all on your own, rather than disturb everybody else. So you're going to go do it from the inside and disturb Sangria. Rawr, leave me alone. Rawr, rawr. Okay, can you get the other one? 
You got it. You just saved Sangria's life. You're welcome. No, oh, these all just got the... Okay, stand down. Don't all go in there and wake up Sangria too. No, no. Tomislav, just go back to go back to bed. Andy, you are repairing a wooden wall. Okay, good. You do that from the outside. Good. Thank you. Um, otherwise, I want to get some things built. That's right. So, Tomislav, you are right there. You are also repairing a wooden wall. Now, Sang or Handy can handle that. I need you... Well, you look at that. Handy got it done. Wow, she got it done. Okay. Um, then, what would it take, Tomislav, for you to get the heater working in the prison so that it won't be 52 degrees in there anymore? Otherwise, temperatures in the rest of this place. Um, we're holding 67, 68, 69 degrees in the hallway, which means the bedrooms are in the mid-60s. Yep, they're doing fine. We're going to need probably one more to get into the deep of winter, but we're a whole lot closer than we were. Okay, Handy, you are building wooden floor. Good, you're working in here. Actually, before you come in, bring in what it takes to build this dining chair. So, we've got a bunch of wood out over here. And finally, it's going to be a real stack. Good. Not just a little stack somewhere. So, Klaus is still sleeping. How much longer? Needs. He's just about done. Then he's got to get some food. Okay. Um... Our guests are over here, kind of bunking in our, our battery room, but they're fine. Still a dry thunderstorm. So anything else on my list that's been desperate to get done before we just get into general expansion next time, and most likely a raid or something. Um, glancing down, everything over there is done. Mine steel, campfires, we're done with that phase. Iron walls. I went looking around trying to see if any of these original existing st uh, structures. Wow. Ooh. Problem. Forest fire. Hmm. Were built of iron. Sometimes you get a wall that's solid iron. You can go through and claim it and deconstruct it and get a bunch of free iron that way. We've got limestone blocks, we've got sandstone blocks, we've got slate blocks, and we've got... Actually, these are granite blocks and slate blocks. But there's no iron that we found. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a problem. Unless we get some rain soon. Which, fires do tend eventually to trigger a rainstorm to put it all out. We, you know, we could get... We could lose an awful lot of the, the lumber that is on our map. If you watch the fire, although this rat just got lit on fire and he's not... He's going to go squealing in pain in a little while, but it'll kick off embers that'll float over and land. It'll float over and land, and then it'll start a fire there. And that fire will throw off embers and float, you know, land right there and light the tree on fire. And it will spread. So, no fires in our area, but I am depending on this wood being here next year for all the other projects. And I want to line a lot of these bedrooms with wooden walls. So, hmm. Okay. I'd say we need to get this put out. At least this one. This may... Hmm. We may have to move into this one if it grows to be too big and move its way down into this area. Yeah. Um, I'm also worried about the sleeping boomalope. They'll sleep through it and won't know that they're on fire until they're on fire. That's what's happening with the rat right now. He... Where am I at? Right over here. So he's just laying there. And pretty soon he'll get the, you know, the, there, he just realized he's on fire and now he's going to go run around and try and put himself out. So, hmm, okay. Um, the way to deal with a forest fire is to set that as your home zone. Then they'll get the order that your home is on fire. So if we set this as a home zone, you got to go a little further out too, because those embers will spread. By the time they take care of a few of these, that one burnt and spread over there to spread over to there. So you got to give a little space. With that... Michael needs, let's let you completely cap out. We'll leave Michael alone. Sangria, I think just Michael. So everybody else, let's grab them and draft and undraft, and they should all get the commands to go deal with the fire. Tomislav's already got it. So Sangria, I'm going to send you out there too. 
So you all have the commands to go deal with that. Except for Klaus, I'm going to delay you for a moment. While you're down here anyway, go talk to Pelican. And let's get this trade done while everyone's running out there to deal with the fire. Then he'll immediately run out there and do it too. Alright, so what do we have access to? We have 652 silver to our name. I would love to increase that so we can, you know, we've got the, the basic materials for silver or sterile floors when, when the, the time comes. Um, five cloth. We have five cloth left? Really? Last I checked, I can't click on any of these. I thought there was 300 left. Maybe they're not sitting in a stockpile. Anyway, this is ours this is there so let's look at their stuff they have pemmican to sell they have herbal medicines i'll take the one sure they have a plasteel iqua uh for twelve hundred dollars yeah and they've got a pila for 170 so an iqua is a short spear handle attached to a long bladed head designed to be driven into vital organs for with a quick thrust well that's a little graphic and a pila is a spear for throwing they take a long time to throw and move slowly but one but one hit can do heavy damage so they've got damage of 30 wow but they're warm up Cooldown is four seconds long, and warm-up is four seconds long. So it's kind of like the grenade. Yeah, the grenade does a lot of damage, but you got to sit there for quite a while before, right after you throw it, before you can leave. And by then, whoever you threw the grenade at just, you know, headshot you. So I really kind of stay away from grenades for that matter. And same thing here. Anyway, so they've got nothing to sell us that we want, but what can we sell them? Herbals, herbals, wooden club, yes, I managed to get that in. A steel club, we'll hang on to those. A steel longsword, we've got bolt action rifle, 68%, revolver, 99%, sniper rifle, 99%, all those are ours. We've got a poor t-shirt, would love to get out of our stockpile. We've got a lynx skin pants, poor, 6%, you can have that one. Cloth parka, shoddy, 26%, I think uh, Miss Apia dropped that one when she was no longer a prisoner cloth duster 93 percent that's probably the one klaus was wearing when he when the bugs beat him up or something <laughs> it's worth 81 if i do that then then um natalia is going to be triggered to go and sew again hmm i'll give her something to do while we're building the uh, research bench okay get rid of a toque now so far we're at 75 they have 212 to spend okay um Otherwise, a whole bunch of toques. Which rebuild? No, actually, just two toques. And a bowler hat and a cloth cowboy hat. Hmm. And a marble statue. Awful. Really? Catherine whipped out another one? I miss it every time she gets finished. I never get to celebrate her, her creations because she just kind of sneaks them under the camera. What did she make this time? She made one with a negative seven beauty, so she's still practicing. That one wasn't, must have been a big crack right down the middle of that chunk of marble. A torso-sized piece of material sculpted into an artistic form, titled Kindness. This shows Miss P working feverishly while looking amused. The scene is surrounded by five books. <laughs> there is a residence in the upper part of the image. The work has a cell shaded feeling, kel shaded feeling of, and a square structure. Okay, I gotta get the square or rectangular structure in there. This illustration refers to Mississippi becoming a master at mining on the 14th of September, 5500. Hmm, that sounds like something we'd wanna keep, but it's also, you know, a bunch of silver for us and it gives the room a negative seven beauty if we put it in there hmm i have a feeling we're going to have an awful lot of sculptures being made over the next 30 40 episodes just for the humor i need to make sure to keep that going yeah we'll sell that one we'll see what else they come up with uh, we're going to keep the hats keep the toques just to keep them from having to spend too much time making new ones so i guess it's another 125 silver coming in do we do that or not? Let's do that, but I want to check something. So there and pause. 
how much do we have available for making more toques? We got 25. What what does a toque cost? Let's go that route. Uh, bill, uh, toque, details takes 25. That was what I was guessing. Okay, so we have enough wool for a toque. We have enough. You won't just pop up. It won't give me a pop up. I got to click on you. So we have enough synth thread for a toque, or hyperweave that is. Um, don't have enough of the boom rat leather. Hmm. We need how much for a duster? Actually, some of these are multiples. Deer hide, deer hide, and probably another deer hide. Now, time you combine all these. I think we could pull off a few more pieces. Hmm. Though there may not be a lot of hunting through the winter. Which means we are going to run, gonna run low on our supplies here. Yeah. Where was cloth? Cloth looks like, uh, like that. There's only five cloth. I didn't expect that. Okay. Well, did I get cloth? I did. Cotton plants are right there. To make the medicine, we need herbal and we need some of that neutramine or whatever that, that chemical was. And then we need cloth. And I think there's one more ingredient. I think there's a fourth ingredient. So I wanted to make sure we got some cloth being produced as well as herbal. Or heel root. Okay, so no, we're not going to sell those toques. That's what I needed to know. Otherwise, Klaus is going to automatically go out and beat up fires. We're at an hour already. Okay. Well, I got enough micromanaging done to feel like we're close. We're, we're better off than we were. So I don't feel the need to continue to run this episode. Uh, and run in between episodes. So I'm going to leave it there. We'll start here at the fire next time. But yeah, I'm already over an hour right up at that point. I don't want these to go longer than that. So I'm going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.